What's going on everyone? Today we have a very different here on the channel and this is going to kind of be a highlight of the entire Football Manager community. Today I'm going to be discussing some of the best mods that you can utilize within your FM24 saves. We're going to be covering those logos, kits, custom skins, even custom clubs and custom databases as well. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Now real quick, before we get things started, I do want to mention everything that you will see here in today's video will be linked down below in the description for you guys to check out on your own. So if you see something that you would like to be adding into your saves, definitely show these creators some love. So the first thing we're going to be covering today is the real names fix by the Notorious Pro. Now this is probably one of the more simple mods that you can implement and tier saves. There is an entire how to on the page where you can download this from on how you're going to implement this within your FM files and it will change your FM names to what they actually should be. So instead of Napoli being called part the Nope, they will actually end up having their legitimate name, as will clubs like AS Roma. And I also believe within the real name fix, there's a few little things within those files that allow for the German national team and Japanese national team to have their actual players. As we can see here, everyone is a legitimate real player, not the grayed out players for Germany. And it's the same thing here for Japan. So if you're wanting to add a little bit of realism to your save, the real name fix is definitely one that you need to go and install. And speaking of realism, we're about to get into a couple of mods that add a lot of realism to your saves. The first one is logos. We're going to go with TCM logos. Those are the ones that I personally prefer. As we can see here, they are all exactly what you expect from legitimate logos. Now this is a mega pack, so it includes a boatload of different logos within this one pack. So it's clubs, national teams, competitions, all that good stuff. And it adds up to over 70,000 realistic logos. So it will add in every single Premier League logo because a majority of the Premier League sides do not have them. And it'll also add in leagues like Liga. And being that you would end up having the actual logos, you'll probably want the actual kits too, at least to just kind of look at, have those 2D kits on the club info page. And in my opinion, no one does better than FM Slovakia. Their link will be down below in the description, just like everyone else's in today's video. They do literally any league that you can think of, as you can see here on screen, any league that you could possibly think of, they do kits for even the ones that are already included in the games. If you want everything to look super nice in HD, they do absolutely fantastic work as we can see right here. And they look absolutely amazing within the game as well as we can see here with these Real Madrid kits. But being that you would probably want to have the logos and the kits, you probably also want to look at the stadiums as well. And thanks to Steve MC, we have a mini stadium super pack for the 2024 year. There's also 2023 and previous years as well, but we're going with the 2024 one. So you end up being able to see stadiums like the Metropolitano, Alliance Arena, as well as stadiums like Anfield. And then one thing that we're all always playing for and trying to achieve the most amount of is trophies. There's also a trophies mega pack that is by Daz S8. And you'll end up being able to see all of the actual competitions trophies within FM, which I know these are little things, but it just makes the game seem a whole lot better and aesthetically pleasing, at least to me. So once again, if you wish to download any of those, there will be links down below in the description to be able to download them. And there are how to's on how to install them on all their pages as well. Next up, we have got probably the biggest thing on here. File wise, there's plenty of players within this file. It is the cutout player faces mega pack over on sorted out SI. There are hundreds of thousands of players that have their faces as well as staff members, whatever it may be. It just, it puts them all into one big thing. You download it and you can put it within your files. And then you end up having all the players, actual faces that otherwise may not have been in the game. So you'll be able to see players' faces like Virgil van Dyke, Alejandro Garnacho, or even Mr. Jude Bellingham. 
and sorted out si is nice enough to have a video on that page for you guys to kind of guide you through how to download them and install them within your fm as well so definitely make sure to check that out if you have not done it before next up we have something that i feel is really underrated and that is custom views whether we're making them or we use them made by other people i think that it adds a whole different element to analytics within fm especially if you are into that sort of stuff and there is someone by the name of FM Stag that has created his own and has a boatload of them that you can download from FM Scout. As we can see right here, this is one of the examples of what it would look like within your save. And it looks absolutely fantastic to me at least because I really like the analytical side of football and a lot of people are starting to enjoy that aspect of the game. So it kind of goes way more in depth breakdown wise than what the game originally does. So this is something that you would like to install and give a go yourself i'll have a link down below for it now these next few things are kind of in regards to you've played a couple saves you want something new well custom databases are a hundred percent the way to go along with custom clubs on fm scout they have well over a hundred different databases on things that you could just change your game entirely if you want to play in the polish lower leagues you can do it if you want to play lower in the japanese league all the way down to level seven you can do it if you want to have a regional franchise super league and go that route you can do it the possibilities are endless and it can definitely lead to some of the more special saves that you have within fm but aside from custom databases, there's also the custom clubs that kind of add a whole new element and story to what you might be looking for within a save. And there's one made by Bretons on FM Scout for Red Bull London. And Greco Man made one for Red Bull Verona. Or there's even the two that I have done this year that are in my Discord. Link to that will be down below in the description. They are Wembley AFC, which I did last year as well, and Kyoto United in Japan both of which are absolutely awesome saves to undertake. So if you're looking for something a bit different, custom databases and custom clubs are definitely a way to go. However, there's one man that just constantly blows everyone away with his custom databases. And they're always absolutely fantastic and they take you back into the past constantly to enjoy the good old days of the football world. And that is the mad scientist with his custom databases, which he has a website entirely dedicated to, by the way. And the one database that I am highly suggesting is the 0708 database, which you are able to download from his website. Link will be down below in the description, so definitely feel free to check it out because you will have young Ronaldo at Man United, young Messi at Barcelona, as well as countless other former footballing greats still applying their trade in the world of football. But when it comes to FM... To be able to get the most out of the majority of this stuff, you're definitely going to want to have a different look with your FM. And by different look, I mean not having the same default FM skin. So custom skins is definitely one of the most important mods that I utilize every single year with an FM. There are countless skins to go through all by incredible, incredible creators that allow your FM to take on a completely different life when you are utilizing them. There are skins with their own custom views already within them. There's ones that allow you to bookmark certain pages so that you have easy access to them even so that you can just go from one thing right into another. And then there are skins that allow you to kind of add a little bit of a challenge to your saves to where you are doing nothing but looking at statistics to do it the money ball way and speaking of skins i'm going to be having a video coming out very soon that kind of goes into detail on some of the best skins within the fm community so definitely keep an eye out for that one but if you have enjoyed today's video, please feel free, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is 100% free, so when I hit that sub button, I'll be linking everything in today's video down below in the description for you guys to check out, along with my Discord if you guys wish to check that out as well, and download those custom clubs from. But before I let you go, on this side of the screen, I'm going to be popping up my most recent Tactical School video where I go over how to get the most out of a central midfielder. And on the other side of the screen, I'm going to be popping up a video for some of the best saves to do with an FM24 this year. But until next time, everyone, have a good one. Bye-bye.